Hannah Müller makes cotton sketchbooks now. Let's take a look. Hello wonderful people! Years ago I stepped up my paper game and moved from cellulose paper to cotton and never went back with one exception, sketchbooks. The thing is that a few years ago many brands did not offer cotton sketchbooks. They were more difficult to find and more expensive too. So the easiest way was to either make one myself, which I did several times, or buy cellulose, which I did. I have tried so many sketchbooks, and you probably have seen them at the beginning of my last video, where I shared the first pages, and my experiences were mixed. The biggest flaw I've seen was the lightweight paper and the problems cellulose paper had with masking fluid and tape. Then Etcher, Clairefontaine and now Hahnemühle have come out with cotton sketchbooks. I have not tried Etcher yet, but I own the Clairefontaine one and have purchased the Hahnemühle to compare. In this video, we'll take a closer look at it. The sketchbook size I chose is 19.5 by 19.5 cm or 7.7 by 7.7 .7 inches. It's hardbound with a black fabric cover. The paper is 250 GSM and a bit thicker than the one of the Hahnemühle cellulose sketchbooks. But it has the same structure, which is different from the thicker sheets. By the way, in case anyone wonders how to pronounce Hahnemühle, right, it's Hahnemühle. There's a lot of guessing around it and I hope this helps. To test it, I painted three pieces in it using Kor, Schmenke Horadam and Lucas Aquarell. The Lucas painting you can watch in the last video, where I actually thought I would paint on the first page but didn't, which led to me talking about first pages and how they can make us anxious and why they shouldn't. In this one you can see me paint with Kor. I did not record the Schmenke one. As you can see, the paper does warp when it's covered with washes of water which I kind of expected. I like how the paint looks on the paper though, and the painting experience itself. Of course, every change of supply needs a little adjustment and technique, etc., but I felt it was easy to paint on this paper. It's cold press and I feel more comfortable using this than, let's say, hot press paper, which is only a personal preference and doesn't say anything about the quality of paper. What really stood out to me is how well the paper did with masking tape and the masking fluid. I left both on the paper overnight, even more, and it had time to dry and adhere and stuff. Both held onto the paper very well. The tape did not come loose, but when it was time to remove it from the paper, it came off like a charm. No ripping at all. Same goes for the masking fluid. Just a bit of rub rubbing and it just come off without any damage to the paper. I've never had that happen on cellulose paper sketchbooks. They all had some kind of issues and sometimes really bad. But this was a surprise and I'm amazed how well this paper did with masking media. For real, this was the highlight for me. And although I don't use lots of masking fluid in sketchbooks, I do use tape and it was a relief to know that I will have no issues whatsoever with that now. Another thing I noticed was that the white of the paper is on the warmer side, which I personally like, but some prefer a cold white, almost bluish color, so they might not like this. I personally just like the warmth of the paper without it being creamy or yellow, so it works out in my favor. As for the process, I did enjoy how the paint moved on the paper. The granulation was visible and how easy it came to me to work on that paper. It didn't feel like struggle to me, not more than usual anyway. The sketchbook doesn't like completely flat on its own, at least now, not while it's new and I have to clamp, clamp down the pages to be able to paint. Maybe this will change with time. It also doesn't have a pocket on the back. That is really just like a mo minor point for me. I actually was very happy with the sketchbook and how it behaved. 
because I expected it to be less and more like cellulose sketchbooks I've known and didn't quite like. It can compete with my handmade ones and that's all I need, actually. The only down point I see, which is not unique to Hahnemühle, is the thickness of the paper and that it warps. But so do all the other sketchbooks with thinner paper, right? Actually, I was so happy I did show it off on stream already, where we chatted about nature, supplies, and I was able to show some things I can show in the videos and can interact some more with you. If you want to join, I'll be happy to chat with you on Twitch. The link is down in the description box. Thinking about it, I do wonder, what do you find important in sketchbooks? How do you use yours and what is the most important thing it should be able to do? In this one, what really stood out to me was, like in a positive way, was the handling of masking media and I'm still excited about the possibilities. If you enjoyed this review, like the video and maybe take a look at other reviews from the channel. Watercolor is a little big passion of mine and I hope to share some of my accumulated knowledge with you. Have a wonderful and creative day everyone and I hope to see you soon. Bye!